Tennis Sports Central will be over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in week three of this 2021 college football season. And it's going to be between the Auburn Tigers and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Major matchup coming up here in week three. We got two teams that are potential national contenders, and the winner of this matchup could very well go on to be a big college football playoff contender once we get to the later parts of this season. So very crucial matchup for both these teams to get a very high quality win in. And it's going to be in Penn State. It's going to be a tough one here for Auburn, uh, but Penn State at the same time, they're going up against an Auburn team that has scored 60 points in their past two games. So it's going to be a very close matchup, very good matchup here between two very high-powered offenses. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with this preview and prediction for this matchup. College game days also going to this matchup, just to keep in mind. We're going to be looking at your team trends to get things started. Auburn is ranked 22nd going into this matchup, which I think Auburn should be ranked slightly higher. I believe in my rankings, I have them at, I think, 17 or 18. I mean, just looking at the past two games, I understand they haven't really played very talented teams, but they've scored over 60 points. Like, they shut out Alcorn State 62 to nothing this past weekend. This offense, I mean, for Auburn, looks very good right now, and they're going to be a tough offense to take down, that's for sure. Penn State is ranked 10th. Um, they beat Ball State 44 to 13, and that was of course after beating Wisconsin on the road. Huge win there for Penn State. Uh, that was definitely a big matchup for this Penn State team uh, as they won in Madison a couple of weeks ago. So both teams are 2 and 0 with two game winning streaks heading into this matchup. Games will be on Saturday, September 18th, University Park, Pennsylvania. Penn State will be the home team here. 7:30 p.m. Eastern time is the time for this matchup. So obviously. It's a night game in Happy Valley. It's gonna be a brutal game for Auburn to win. I mean, if it was an 11 o'clock game or a noon game, I mean, potentially Auburn would have a better chance of winning it, but this is a very hostile environment at night uh, with Penn State. So if you're an Auburn fan, do keep that in mind. You're going up against a very good Penn State team on the road in a tough environment, and that'd be a very gutsy win if Auburn were to win in this matchup. Spread currently says Penn State by six, over under is 52 and a half. ESPN FBI also going with the Nittany Lions, 62% is the current uh, percentage or probability for this matchup. Series history, teams have only played twice, and it is a tied series, one to one. Win streak is Auburn by one, last game was in 2003, so it's been quite a while uh, since we've seen Penn State and Auburn play each other, and really, I mean, it's, it's a pretty limited series, uh, just considering both teams have only played each other twice. Here's your stat comparison for these or for this matchup. These are your current stats for 2021. So these are your average stats after two weeks of action. Auburn, obviously, once again, they've already scored um, an average of 61 points a game. So they scored, I believe, 62 last week and then 60 the week before. Points allowed, five. Only five points allowed in the past two weeks on average. So obviously this defense looks very good for Auburn as well. 235 pass yards a game, 340 rush yards a game. 160 pass yards allowed, and then 21 rush yards allowed on average. So Auburn, once again, both sides of the ball have looked very good so far this season. Penn State, 30 points per game, 11 points allowed, 250 pass yards, 145 rush yards, and then for yards allowed, 205 passing, 124 rushing. So both teams look very great all around. I mean, if you look at Auburn stats, obviously this is an Auburn team that really hasn't played a very talented team yet, but I mean, still, scoring over 60 points two weeks straight is still uh, very impressive no matter who the opponent is. So both teams, that's why this is such an interesting match and intriguing matchup for me here is because you got two uh, very talented offenses, very talented defenses as well going head to head. Some key points for this one, both teams obviously are 2-0. and uh, The team has been above 60 points in the past two weeks for Auburn. Bo Nix, he's looked very solid in his past couple of weeks. Obviously in 2020, he just did not look right. And that was kind of the thing that concerned me about Auburn heading into 2021 was how is Bo Nix going to be? But so far the past two weeks, he's done a very good job. Um, hasn't thrown an interception yet either. Um, and overall, see, so yeah, Bo Nix, definitely a player to watch out for in the future. And this is really going to be a, um, a very career altering game for him potentially. I mean, Bo Nix, this is a very, I mean, this could really change, um, really change the, uh, reputation on him per se. I mean, if you, I mean, if Bonex gets a huge win here in, in uh, Penn State here, which would be a very tough win. I mean, Bonex, there's going to be a lot of people uh, paying paying much more attention to Bonex. Uh, but yeah, this is a huge chance for Auburn to put the SEC on notice as well. I mean, if you think about it, in the SEC, you already got like four or five 
uh, big national contending teams potentially. I mean, you got Alabama and Georgia, who are the top two teams in the nation right now. And I mean, you also got, I mean, Ole Miss, they're definitely on the rise right now. You can't forget about them, Florida. And then, of course, you got Auburn in the background here as well. Uh, so, I mean, you got several big, uh, big name SEC teams in the top 25 right now. And Auburn is definitely one that should not be forgotten about. Penn State on the flip side, great start to the season for the Nittany Lions. Solid win at Wisconsin in week one. That was still a very impressive win. I mean, for Penn State to win in Camp Randall, I mean, very impressive win. Uh, they do definitely have a legit chance to win the Big Ten East as well, and that's why it's such a crucial game for Penn State as well. I mean, if you look at uh, the Nittany Lions here, Ohio State just lost again this past week, and Penn State is 2-0 at this current time. So if they can win some games and potentially beat Ohio State down the road, we should see Penn State um, and Indianapolis competing for the Big Ten Championship game. So, I mean, Penn State is definitely in the race for this Big Ten East right now, and it's it makes this game so much more interesting just because – I mean, you got that factor in play as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the prediction for this matchup. Auburn-Penn State, I've got the Nittany Lions getting the win, 34-31. to 31. It's going to be close, and it's going to be a very tightly contested matchup. you got two great offenses, two great defenses. I mean, both teams are definitely uh, some of the best teams in the nation right now, I would say. And Auburn, they're going to keep it very close, but in a very tough Penn State environment. I'm going to give the Nittany Lions the win, 34-31. to 31. Once again, I think that Bo Nix and Auburn, they're going to play very well in this matchup, keep it close right up till the end. But Penn State, just being at home in an night game, um, and the way that they've played so far, they've already got a pretty gutsy win over Wisconsin in the books. I think Penn State gets the win, 34-31. to 31, Probability, Penn State 55%. So this is a game that I'm very, I mean, I'm very optimistic about. I could see both teams easily winning this matchup. I mean, Auburn is very talented. Penn State is very talented. I mean, I would not be surprised to see either team win this matchup, but I got to go with Penn State here. Uh, 52.5 is the over-under, and I've got um, my score prediction uh, actually significantly over. Uh, I've got 65 total points in this matchup, so I would be comfortable in taking the over in this matchup. I think both offenses definitely should score some uh, some big points in this game, but then again, it could turn out to be a matchup like Penn State Wisconsin, where we only saw 26 points. I mean, we did see that a couple of weeks ago, so do keep that in mind. But I am taking the over for this matchup. But anyway, that being said, wraps it up for me today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup, and I appreciate you guys all watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you later.